Welcome back to the Crypto's Key Conversation. I wanted to put the, put up these two clips, and we've covered these in our past videos, but I just wanted to start a conversation. Like, Based on these two clips I'm going to put up, one is currently and one was back in 2019, but I'm just wanting to know, like, was this really a part of the plan? Like, was this always was this plan always in motion? Let's take a listen in. I'm very concerned that uh, extensive use of sanctions in this case, and I'm not advocating for or against, I'm just... Uh, speculating that the extensive use of sanctions against Russia, perhaps against China, if there's any other activities going on geopolitically, could be the last hurrah for sanctions, because I think it could drive uh, and accelerate work by China and Russia to develop CBDCs, to use it in their uh, foreign uh, relations, in the case of China, in the case of their Belt and Road Initiative, and to really move uh, portions of the globe off the dollar-based Western bank-dominated uh, account-based system that we have today. And so uh, CBDC is absolutely an effort by many non-aligned countries uh, to, to move away from the sanction power that exists in our current Western bank-dominated, you know, SWIFT-based messaging system. Step two is what's being discussed now, which is the, the payment processing system. So really what they're competing with is the SWIFT bank system, right? So right now, if you're sending money overseas from a U.S. bank, you have to use, or any Western country, you use that SWIFT system that is set up in Belgium. Um, and that prevents money laundering in theory and all that kind of thing. But what the BRICS nations are doing is saying, well, we don't need to use the SWIFT system because we don't want to be subjected again to U.S. sanctions because if the U.S. is sanctioning you, you can't move money using that SWIFT system. Mm -hmm. So what's really interesting is, number one, they're creating a payment system that would go around SWIFT. But how do you do that when you have five major countries that all have their own currencies? And one of the ways they're doing that is by using possibly cryptocurrency to do that. That mm -hmm. would translate their currencies into a single cryptocurrency that is then used through the system and then re- um, um, formulated, I guess, mm -hmm. when it gets into their country, back into their their own personal um, uh, currency. So mm -hmm. essentially, you're taking currency from one, sending it through as a cryptocurrency, and then back on the other end, into in transforming it into another currency. And that allows them again to get around this SWIFT system in a way uh, mm -hmm. that no one had really thought about in the past, because crypto already has all of those things in place. Mm -hmm. Now, Russia, in particular. They've been moving away from the U.S. dollar. In fact, mm -hmm. in the last five years, Russia actually cut out almost half of its trade payments in U.S. currency right. from 92 percent to about 50 percent. So what does this say about its relationship, if any, with the West? Well, I think it says that, the, again, that Russia specifically really started pushing this after 2014, right? Because mm -hmm. in 2014, uh, the U.S. started hitting Moscow with sanctions, mm -hmm. and they wanted to punish. And remember how this works. Sanctions are issued against individual countries. They're also issued against leaders in those countries or wealthy people in those countries. Mm -hmm. And so when leaders in those countries and wealthy people in those countries start getting hit with sanctions, you have a choice. You can either go along with this and comply, or you can say, let's create a system that no longer gives you leverage over us. What well, one thing that the U.S. is doing a very poor job of right now mm -hmm. is recognizing that it's not just Russia or just China, but there are five major nations and dozens of smaller nations that are very excited about the idea of no longer being under U.S. dominance when it comes to currency, and we're not doing anything about it. At this point, the U.S. is resisting almost, on almost every level any push to change the way the system is currently. With all that being said, stay strong out there. Be safe.